Hey everybody, it's Romaya. Today's painting, it's been under the construction for a long time. First, I painted it more than a year ago. Then a couple months after that, I felt this skill shift for the better, step up on my skills, and I added things to the painting. I worked on it again. Then after that, now, I feel like I can say more about it by working on it again. So here we are. And there was a wonderful trigger about this working on it again. And by the way, this is the a positive point about an unsold painting. You get to work on it again and again, because if you sell it, then you have to be in peace with whatever shortcoming you realize after improvement. So that's, you have to be in peace with that, which is, you know, most of the paintings, you sell them and then you improve your skills and then you have, if it was done again, you would have done it otherwise, but this is the, you know, Zen part of being an artist, uh, one of the Zen parts, let's say. So uh, I'm painting Lex Friedman. The trigger was the eight hour conversation that Lex posted with um, Elon Musk and four other wonderful people really worth the listen. I actually can't wait to listen to the whole thing again. That's what I wanna do probably after recording this. So, um. I'm painting Lex Friedman. Lex is one of my favorite people on earth. And it's time stamps. There's a part that he talks about. He talks about his recent ayahuasca experience, which reminded me of my own, which I want to share with you parts of it because most parts would be too personal to make sense for anybody else but the general sense was something like i didn't do nine cups i didn't do it in amazon jungle with the shaman because lex did it like that and nine cups i cannot even digest the thought experience i i can't it's just beyond my imagination literally so i did two and a bit cups i did it with somebody who knew what it's like and i trusted and he was kind of sober kind of he didn't do ayahuasca at the time that i was doing ayahuasca but he wasn't sober sober there, was, there wasn't such a thing in my circles of friends back then when i did it there was no sober person whatsoever so I did it. Uh, uh, the reason I'm closing my eyes is to just can't imagine the visuals and be a faithful representative of those visuals. I felt myself swallowed by some kind of a liquid cosmos thingy. And I had this perception of being in a womb at the same time. So it was like emerging in the cosmos, in like a cosmic womb of some sort. And it felt, it, there was a visceral feeling of like emerging into existence in a way. And obviously words are not adequate enough for these experiences. And I, then after a while, I had this experience of tiny little side details of the important events of my childhood memories. It's like, imagine you have a, like a graduation moment or something, and then you recall a tiny little cup on those left side table or something like that. That's the example I'm using to communicate what it was like. It was something like tiny, seemingly irrelevant details as a side detail of the main event. And then I was recalling tiny little unnoticed stuff of recent events and they were all connected in a way that nothing no thing whatsoever was excess or 
it, they were all replaceable, irreplaceable. Nothing was, nothing could be exchanged for some other thing or be just not, it couldn't not be there and uh, lead to the same unfolding. So it was the significance of every insignificant thing, which it's a perfect metaphor for our individual lives and for what we do it's especially with the painting it's easy to think this is a luxury art is a luxury you're not changing anything about anything you're not helping anybody and i don't think that's true first of all i don't think the art is a luxury thing art i think it's an essential need and we won't notice it because we have it and also, I don't think the fact that our tiny lives are, are not solving all the world's problem are something to be posed as a problem. Because that's just is. Just because our impact is tiny, it's not equal to zero. And that's that's already more than we can, than we can ever ask for. And except except that we wanna just uh, run away from responsibilities of our life that's the only i think that's the thing that people do when they dismiss the importance of their life they think of themselves as so unimportant that the a tiny little bit more than zero impact is equivalent to zero it's not it's just factually untrue another thing that lex was pointing to was the fact that he saw the significance of those people in his life as they are not as like a loved ones or friends or just because they existed in his life he said something like he would see their life and be grateful for their existence and their they being who they are and that is something i experienced with my recent acid trip but it's a different story but another thing that i would recommend for somebody who wanna do ayahuasca or any kind of such a thing for the first time is to just let go of your expectation one way to do it for me was to not go, not go read research papers on it before doing it you can do it afterwards because it gives you expectations and that would not be productive to say the least and another thing is just concede your impotence before the mightier events and that's the one of the most useful muscles you can ever develop and and the, another thing that is different about these realizations that you go through with a psychedelic trip is the fact that you gain such a visceral wisdom Jung said beware of unearned wisdom I think it would be unearned if you come down from the trip and you prematurely jump to realization I would recommend that you sit with the experience and let the realizations emerge at their own speed whenever because if you come down from the experience and jump into prematurely extracting realization by forced out of the experience that would be closer to unearned wisdom and that's kind of not beneficial and kind of a waste but if you just don't try to construct a label around your experience and just sit with it realizations will emerge and they would be more fruitful because of that and the visceral experience of having this this kind of wisdom injected into your being is something that it's it's not there to be put into words it's there to be lived so let's paint Thank mm -hmm. you.